and welcome back to another episode of Mike's Mini Motors. So in today's video, we're finally getting back to my ruckus, and I'm going to do an ankle biter install. So it's one of my favorite aesthetics mods that you can do on the GUI 6 swaps. Um, what it does is it just replaces the, the case here over your transmission and exposes the belt and clutch and variator and stuff. That's why it's called the ankle biter. Um, but I got the plates back from the powder coater yesterday and I anodized the spacers myself. So we'll go ahead and get that installed and I'll show you guys how to do it. So here's how the transmission looks currently. I got the the case here and then the kickstarter. And one thing when you put the ankle biters on here, you, you do remove your kickstarter. So make sure you have a good starter, good battery. Because if they fail, then you can't start your engine. So we'll start with getting a 10 millimeter, getting the kickstarter lever itself off of here. And then a bunch of 8 millimeters and then pull this cover off of here. So here's what it looks like with the case pulled off. You can see it exposes, here's your variator, here's your front pulley, and then your rear pulley with your clutch and everything, and then even your Kickstarter uh, mechanisms. Those are what we're going to have to pull out. We'll have to also pull the belt off so we can get this back plate on there. And One thing that's really important to keep in mind with, if you're ever going to do an ankle biter, you must, I, I think, put a backing brace on there. And this one comes with a stainless steel plate because otherwise, I've seen pictures and stuff of where these GUI 6s can actually, the case will crack here. And if that cracks, the wheel has gone. <laughs> and so it's just, it's really unsafe. So make sure you put a backing plate on there. So let's first start with, I'm going to pull the variator pulley off. So I get this belt off of here. And then we'll get the kickstart mechanism pulled out. Okay, yeah, I've got the belt and the variator off there. I gotta get uh, this guy and this guy pulled out of here. So I'll do that next. It's just uh, the eight millimeter here. You relieve the tension on the spring and then I believe they just should just pull out. So that's what we're gonna do now. So as you see, we got the Kickstarter out of there. That was actually really simple. The one part is I just didn't know how much tension was on that spring, but it wasn't bad. And then it all just comes out, and there's also a bushing here that you need to pull out. Um, originally, I wasn't going to pull my clutch off, but after seeing how much brake, or not brake, uh, belt dust is in here, I'm going to pull that off and give her a cleaning real quick since I've got the case open. So we gave her a quick little clean out. Most of it just blew out, which is nice. And got the clutch back on there. So now we can go ahead and get the variator back on there. And then we gotta get the belt on. Oh, no, no, excuse me. Belts, I gotta get that backing plate on. So that's what we're gonna get bolted on there now.
Well, that was a pain in the butt. So there's, there's two little bushies that are normally in the case here. There's one here and one here. This one here just pulled right out with the needle nose really easy. This one here, not so much. I had to smash it. Let's see. I had to smash the end of it with my vice grips and sit there and wiggle it back and forth for a few minutes till it finally loosened up and finally popped out. But all right, let's get back to putting that backing plate on. So I just got the backing plate on there in place and just two bolts just to hold it in. And then went ahead and got the belt put back in and uh, the variator and everything. So we can just start putting the spacers on and then slide that other cover on and we're done. There she is all mocked up. I don't have anything tightened down yet because I'm gonna go grab my Loctite. Because these GY6 motors vibrate a lot, and so you want to make sure you uh, Loctite your bolts and stuff on here. There is the ankle biter, all complete. I do still need to torque down these bolts one last time, but I'll do that off camera and then I'll get the area all cleaned up and then I'll get her started and so you can see what she looks like when she's running. So you can see all the pulleys and the belt and everything moving. All right, so cleaned all the tools up, got these torqued down. One thing I didn't film because I spaced it actually until I was in the middle of doing it was I had to get these, uh, little clips that I used for holding the brake line out of the way and had to they were on the CVT case before but now I didn't want them there so I had to find other locations and so yeah the brake lines out of the way um, let's go ahead and get it started up and you can I'll run it for a few seconds um, and you can see it all spinning cold. Hasn't ran in a while.
that's what she looks like. I'm going to show you one more video on this here so you can kind of see the inner workings of the CVT transmission. See on the clutch, the belt's out far and it's in the middle on the variator. I'll start it back up and then uh, I'll show you what it's doing. You'll see that this one, once the RPMs go up, moves out and that moves in once the clutch actually engages. So here's the final product. It's all installed, torqued down, ready to rock and roll. I can get this thing on the street if I want to. It's a little chilly right now, but yeah. So like I said, this is my favorite aesthetic mod you can do for a GY6 Ruckus. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think your favorite aesthetic mod is. Um, go ahead and give the video a like if you enjoy it. And like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet either. Uh, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.